Okay, so let's go over a, a few new things today. Now, most of you are at least a little bit familiar with uh, what I mean when I talk about measuring area, but this is a, a, a new lesson. We're in a new section now, and I want to make sure that, uh, that we're all on the same page here. I think once this clicks and, uh, and you see what, uh, what they mean here, that you're going to find this a lot easier than it might sound. Now, of course, the information over here says, and this is important, area is the number of unit squares needed to cover a region with no gaps or overlaps. Now, when they say unit squares, this is what they're talking about. This is what these are for this lesson. They're these little squares right here. This is what they mean when they say region. It's how many of these little boxes can fit inside this T-looking shape right here. Okay, so a unit square is a square with sides that are one unit long. It has an area of one unit square. So right here, you can also look at this as one times one. And if you remember the identity property, one times one equals one, because any factor multiplied by one will always be that factor. So one times one. So we're going to return to that because one of the easier ways to do area is through multiplication, not counting, because it's going to take forever. And I'll show you what I mean. Now it says right here, count the unit squares that cover Emily's shape. The exact count is the area of the shape. So it specifically says to count them, right? So we're going to do that. Um, but it's going to take a minute because there are a lot of them, right? And one of the recommendations is to write the number in there so you don't get confused. One, two, three, whoa, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, my handwriting's getting worse, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so this section up here already has 24. Now let's look down here, okay, 24. So we've got 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. I can't even read my own handwriting here. Okay, this is, this is getting crazy. Now, for some of you who write really tiny, it's going to look fine. But really, it shows us that there are 36 in total, okay? 36 in total. I shouldn't have just drawn that one, but 36 in total. Now it says it right here. 36 units cover the entire shape. Now, I want to show you guys something, though, really quickly, because that was probably the most inefficient way of doing this, okay? Now, it says to count them, so it is not wrong to follow directions. You should always follow directions, especially on these assignments, because... They are very much what you're going to see when you get into the state tests, okay? So let's take a quick look at this, though, because there really are easier ways to do it. Let's do two things. Let's cut this in half. Let's cut it into one rectangle up here and a smaller rectangle down here. This one is going to be three, because you see one, two, three, times... One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? There are eight of them up here. So that's three and eight. Three on this side. So there are three rows. Remember, rows go this way. And there are eight in each of them. That should look very familiar, very much like an array. So the, really, this is three times eight. Well, three times eight, as you all know, is 24. Now let's look at this one. One, two, three. Three here. And each one of these rows has four in it. So that's three times four. Well, again, as you guys know, three times four is 12. Now you just add the two together. Four plus two is six. Two plus one is three. 36. So you know that this, the area right here, is 36 square units. Okay. Now over here it says count the unit squares that cover the shape. About 20, and they gave us the answer, right? About 27. Well, how did they get that? Because this is weird. This is a circle. There are obviously some 
in here that are only partially filled. So really when you get a circle and they're asking you something like this, you are estimating, you're estimating. You're getting an approximate number, right? So you're not getting the exact area, you're getting an approximate. These ones right here all look like they are about half, right? See what I mean? And the way that they've uh, that they've drawn some of these here. Let's do this one right here as well. So they all look a little bit different. Here's another one. And another one right here. So I think that with ones like this one, well, let's see what we get here. Let's count the ones that we can see that are full. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, oops, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I see, see 23 of them in the middle right here, right? Well, how did they get 27? So what they did was they took these and they combined them. This made one. And these two made one. These two made one, and these two made one. So in total there you have four, right? Four halves, well, it was actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight halves combined made four whole units, okay? So they took the four and they added it to our total in the middle, right? Which was 23. Now 23 plus four is 27. So this is how we end up with our 27 square units for the area of this shape. Let's look at it down here. Let's do the same thing we did up there. Let's, do, let's cut this one up. Let's do it this way. So now we've got this little square down here and this rectangle up here. This rectangle here has two on the side, and it has four across the top. So that's two times four. Two times four is eight. This one has two times two. Right? You can look at it down here as well. 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, 8 times 4, excuse me, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4, the sum is 12. Okay? So we know that this right here has 12 square units. The area of this shape is 12 square units. Okay, now, Karen is arguing that. Uh, each of these shapes has 12. Well, let's find out if she's right. Let's look at the whole ones first. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to guess they're actually counting these two. Five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight there. And now we've got these and these here. Well, this is only going to be one, and this is going to be one. So eight, nine, ten. That's only ten. So I'm going to say that one is actually ten square units. So do we agree with Karen? I'm going to say no, we don't agree. Now, because this says explain, typically that means they want an explanation. But because we're doing this as a guided uh, lesson, I don't expect you guys to necessarily write that in there. Let's look at just a little bit more here. And then I will leave you guys to do the, uh, the uh, independent practice section and the homework and practice section. Okay, so let's look at this one. Emily wants to cover this octagon. Octagon. Now look at that prefix right there. Octagon. That means that there are eight sides. One, two, three. Should we make a mark? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means there are eight sides to the shape. And so she, she she does this a couple of different ways, right? Because she needs to do it so that there are no gaps or overlaps. And it says she tries to cover using unit squares. There will be gaps and overlaps. Well, we don't want those. We want no gaps or overlaps, right? So instead, this is what ended up happening. Do you see this right here? There are, she could make three. There are three squares in the middle, right? There's one, there's one, there's one, and there are there a couple on the sides, right? Right here. One, two, three, four, five. So she has one, two, three, four, five full units, and then she's got one, two, three, four halves. Well, four halves. These combine, and they create a whole. So if she has five here and two here, that is seven square units total right there.
Okay. Let's move down into this uh, section here and take a quick look. How do you know the area of the octagon is seven square units? Well, this is asking you a question. And it obviously is referring to this one. If we were not doing this uh, as a, uh, a group, I would expect a complete sentence here where you describe to me how you know that that is seven square units. But the answer, of course, is because we put in we put in five full square units and we had halves. Well, half of one of those squares, just like it would appear down here, a half of one of those squares added to another half is a whole. So we know that if we add four triangles, four triangles and five squares, those four triangles are going to create two, which really you can look at it this way as well, right? Four divided by two equals two. Okay, now let's take a look over here. Explain how finding the area of a shape is different from finding the length of a shape. Okay, guys, area, and this says explain, and I'm going to explain it, and I'm not going to write it because I have terrible handwriting. Okay, I want a complete sentence when it says explain, but right now uh, I'm going to explain it to you without writing a complete sentence, okay? So area, I'm just going to write this, area equals... How many square units cover a region? Area equals how many square units cover a region? In this example over here, this is the entire region. Length, on the other hand, is just the length. It's only how long the object is. It's only one side, this side. The bottom one right here. This is length here too. L. These are L's. That's length. So if we're going to look for the entire area, we actually need the length right here. And we need the height, the H. It's a little bit different for, uh, for a triangle, right? For these triangles, we're kind of estimating a little bit, again, because we don't have full squares, completely full, right? And I will teach you another way to do that as well. Now, let's look at the length on this one. One, two, three, four, five. The length is five. You're going to notice it's the same on top. One, two, three, four. It is four on the side. So really our equation here is four times five. And four times five is 20. So we've got 20 square units. That is the area for three. Now for four, let's look at this. We know we've got one here, one here. We're going to count this as one here and one here. These are halves. So together, added together, that's one. We'll count this one as a half and this one as a half. Count it together. It is also one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to estimate that this is six square units. SQ is the abbreviation here for square. Okay. So I want you to do the same thing down here in the independent practice section, as well as uh, the uh, homework and practice section. Okay. And see how that works for you. I will post additional videos as we move through these lessons. And if you have any questions, please let me know.